Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you seven common errors when it comes to reporting results in the text with APA 7th edition. I do a lot of proofreading for bachelor's and master's thesis and when it comes to reporting results there are a few errors I encounter quite often. In this video I'm going to show you seven errors that are made quite frequently in my experience. This is the second video in a small series of videos about frequent errors in different areas of APA style. If you want to be notified about new videos, please hit the subscribe button. Let's start. The first one is about italics, when to use them and when not. In this sentence we have two errors. Here the T is not in italics and here the beta is in italics. Statistical symbols with normal letters, like T, have to be in italics whereas statistical symbols with Greek letters, like alpha or here beta, must not be in italics. So here the two correct versions. Second, decimal places. Our problem in this sentence lies here. This is a test statistic and test statistics are always reported rounded to two decimal places. The same goes for correlations and proportions. So here the correct version. Then the leading zero in front of a decimal point. Those two numbers are not correctly reported. The rule is if a value can't in theory get larger than one or smaller than minus one, then there is no zero in front of the decimal point. If however in theory, not necessarily in your results, a value can get larger than one or smaller than minus one, there is a zero in front of the decimal point. So here are the correct versions. Other statistics where there is no zero in front of the decimal points are correlations, R squared, variance based effect size measures as eta squared, and as a special case, beta as the standardized regression coefficient. Beta can, in very rare cases, get larger than one, nevertheless, beta is reported without a zero in front of the decimal point. Next to the p-values. Here there are two types of errors that I see quite frequently. The first one, not reporting the exact p-value in the text, but just larger than 0.05 or smaller than 0.05 or something like that. The second common error is reporting a p-value of 0 0.000. That's not allowed in that case and only in that case you have to write smaller than 0 0.001. So here are the correct versions. Next, statistical results in parentheses. It is not allowed to put a parenthesis inside another parenthesis to report statistical values. So if you want to report a test statistic that has degrees of freedom which go into parentheses like t or f or chi-square, you must not report those results within another parenthesis. Instead, as you can see here, use a comma and then report your statistics. Next to the question of how to write n, that is the sample size, in this sentence, the size of two subsamples is reported. The subsample for men and the subsample for women. Subsamples have to report it with an n in lowercase letter. And the last common mistake, blanks and the f statistic, in this example, here we have a blank between the F and the parenthesis, and we don't have a blank after the comma. That's wrong. There is no blank between the F and the parenthesis, and there is a blank after the comma that follows the first degree of freedoms. I hope this has been helpful for you. You'll find links to my other tutorials regarding errors in APA style in the description of this video.